What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and what we have in front of you here is Gigabyte's UEFI BIOS that is on their Z77X UD4H motherboard. So UEFI BIOS means you can you know move your mouse around and use your keyboard as well. Um, you know, it looks a lot better than your normal BIOS. Let's just go in here and when you load into the BIOS, you're gonna be going into this screen. Um, and this is the MIT. This is everything that you're gonna, you know, to change all of your settings. So whether it's your frequencies, you know, all that stuff, you can do it right in here. All of your overclocking is gonna be done in here as well. So you're giving some options here. So the first thing is your current status. So if we hit that, we can go in and we can see all of the information on our CPU and our memory as well. It will show you everything, um, kind of just to see what something's running at. Maybe you're not sure what something's running at. Before you get into Windows, you can go in here and see if everything is running correctly. Hit escape, get out of there. Advanced frequency settings. This is where you can change some of the stuff. So you can change um, your CPU PCIe base clock or you know your BCLK as most people know it. You can go ahead and change your uh, processor graphics clock. Uh, there's the big one is the CPU clock ratio um, that you can go ahead and set. If you go into advanced core features, these are all the features of your Intel processor. So you can turn these on or off, um, you know, so things like hyper threading and, and all that stuff you can turn on or off. And then you can go in here and ch uh, change the settings on your memory. So we have our XMP profile enabled. Um, you can see that there are two profiles on here or you can just do it yourself and set them how you want. Advanced memory settings. Um, again, you can set your profile in here, but you can go in to do, do more things. Like you can go in here. Um, if we go to expert here and we go into our timings, we can set all of our timings here for our memory. So if you want to set specific timings, you can go ahead and change all that. Put this back on auto. And we go into our advanced voltage settings. So there are three options here, 3D power control, CPU core voltage, and DRAM voltage. So we'll go in 3D power control. And this is all to do with your power delivery as far as your CPU. So you can go ahead and change all this stuff around. Um, it's all set on auto by default, but if you wanna get into this and really fine tune your system, you can. CPU core voltage, uh, this is all of your main core voltages for your CPU. So if you're doing overclocking and you're just not getting there, it's just not getting to where you want it, you may want to bump, bump up these values because it just that's what is going to give your CPU that a little bit more power to get that overclock that you're looking for. Again, everything is set on auto by default. Your DRAM voltage control is, of course, all of your voltages for your memory. PC health status, this just shows us some stuff, um, lets us know different things about the system, you know, all of our temperatures and voltages, everything like that. And you can set fail warnings as well um, on CPU temperature, CPU fan, um, and then the other three fans or four fans that are um, connected to the motherboard. If they fail or turn off, you can have a warning come up. Miscellaneous settings, um, you can turn on the, uh, the PCI gen slot configuration. So you can, if you um, want it to be, you know, PCI Express 3.0, 1.0, or uh, 2.0, you can set that. It's always set to auto. And then there's this 3D Mark 01 boost. I'm not really sure what that does. It says enhance some legacy benchmark performance. So I guess if you turn that on, it will enhance your 3D Mark 01 performance. And that is basically it for the MIT. So that is where all your overclocking things are gonna be. And of course, on the screen, again, it gives you some information. You can see your memory frequencies, your total memory size, your CPU frequency, uh, your CPU temperature, which we're running pretty hot here, as you can see. Um, we are overclocked right now to five gigahertz, so we're running pretty hot. System information just gives you the information um, on the BIOS, on the motherboard, and you can go ahead and update your BIOS as well. And you can, um, change your ADA to port information. If you want to, you know, disable them for some reason or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. BIOS features, uh, this is your boot options. So you can go in here and set up your boot options. You can, um, a lot of different support things um, in the BIOS. So if you want something to not be turned on or turned off, you can go ahead and do that in here. Peripherals is, of course, you can turn on your SATA controllers, um, set them up, you know, USB audio, all that stuff is in here. Pretty basic settings and very easy to control. 
power management um, that's you know resume by alarm you can turn that on or off you can you can set up your wake up times you can um, you can turn on internal graphics standby mode if they're enabled or disabled you can do all that and then of course you can save or exit and you can do boot override so say i want to you know load something from a boot drive or i want to boot to a different drive that i have set up i could just you know hit enter on this and it will boot right into there and of course you can save profiles and load profiles now that is basically it it's a pretty um you know pretty good bios oh there's also q flash if we go over here um, and this will allow us to flash our BIOS. So it makes it very, very simple um, to go in there and flash your BIOS if you have a USB flash drive. It's extremely easy to use. But this is pretty, pretty thought, well thought out BIOS. I like it. It is a little sluggish though compared to other BIOSes that I've seen. But of course it is much better than the older BIOSes that weren't the UEFI BIOSes.